Hey, hey, good afternoon, everyone. What would a Saturday be without going live and uh, spending a little time in my closet saying hi to everyone. Hope everyone's doing well here on Saturday. Looking for, oh, the $3 challenge guys are in the house. Let's make this happen right here. Um, what are we the kids from Duke. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Andy, welcome. Welcome. Everybody. Hi. 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 Two for one. Thank you guys. How for are you? Thank you so much for having Thank us on you. today. Yeah, right on. Well, I am a big fan of the three day, uh, three dollar challenge. And uh, why don't you tell me how that thing got started? Yeah. Thank so uh, first, I'll start off by introducing myself. I'm Jack Adler. This is my twin sister, Kate. Uh, I'm a rising sophomore at Syracuse University. Actually, I know David. You said yes. Oh yeah, I said Duke. Yeah, so I actually, I actually go to Syracuse University. Uh, Sorry about Kate, that. Kate, Danny Shays would be mad at me. No, all no good, problem. all good. And uh, yeah, Kate goes to the University of Miami. And um, so a few weeks ago, uh, we were kind of just, you know, sitting around in quarantine, and we decided that, you know, the world's going through a crazy time right now, and it felt wrong to just sit around and not do anything to try and make a difference. So I actually reached out to my sister. She was down the hall, but I said, hey, Kate, like, I have an idea of a way that we could raise money for to help people in need. So we brainstormed for a few hours and actually came up eventually after a few bad ideas with this idea of the $3 challenge. And uh, on April 21st, we launched the $3 challenge as a way to raise money for three coronavirus relief charities. And the goal is to raise as much money as possible through all $3 donations to prove that a little good from a lot of people can make a huge difference. And Sorry, See, that's yeah. that pin, pin up uh, where people can donate. Let's pin that up there. Yeah, it's all right that. Uh, so you can Venmo yeah, at so 3DC at, or GoFundMe link. At 3 There we go. Um, yeah, so he kind of just called me in and was like, let's start something. And I knew that um, Instagram challenges are really popular a lot, especially in our generation. A ton of people kind of post like music albums or post your favorite memory or things like that. But none of them really had this like donation purpose or really anything effective besides just for entertainment. Um, so we said it could be really cool to kind of like put a twist on the classic um, Instagram challenge and make it $3 donations because we picked $3 because the average college kid or family member, even child um, really has $3 to spare, especially during, um, a time when they're probably not spending as much on like leisurely things a lot of people want to help and are willing to so we thought it'd be a perfect amount um just to ask our really originally just our friends and family for three dollars and it kind of just blew up so the first day when we put our first um instagram story up we just had like thousands of donations and now over five thousand people have donated which is really cool to see that is awesome and give me some of the bad ideas uh so Actually, we make, this idea was inspired by Michael Rubin's All In Challenge, which I'm sure you've heard of by now. Uh, yeah. We actually live in the same town as Michael Rubin. The day it came out it was the same day we came up with this idea. My original idea was that to get you know, people, ordinary college students like us involved, was to have people try to auction off like, things that, you know, that are special to them, but they would be willing to give back. And you know, that idea, as I actually... <laughs> pitched it to Kate and she said it, it wasn't great but you know it turned into just a way where people can give back and not not giving back too much but just a way that they can feel like they made a difference in a time where we've never seen before yeah right. I know I, I think that's a great idea and um how long are you guys going to continue doing this so we're hoping to continue to do it for really uh, specifically for COVID-19 relief um probably well definitely through the summer and until we really need to but we're actually thinking about expanding the $3 challenge as a whole. Um, maybe one day it will be an official nonprofit. We can actually, or at least change the direction of it to different nonprofits. So we could be supporting like mental health awareness or um, like just any, really any different organization that comes our way. Cause I think people are definitely willing to help when they're contributing $3 and feeling like they really helped make a difference. Yeah. And so uh, actually, as of now, we've raised over $15,000 through our $3 donations. But a week into our fundraiser, uh, another fundraiser reached out to us called the Making Lemonade Fund. And uh, yeah, we've had, we've had them on. 
Yeah, so it's a fundraiser made up of over 200 college students. Uh, their founders reached out to us and said they'd love to partner up with us. And, you know, it's 200 really driven uh, college and high school students. And it was an offer impossible to turn down. And since then, together, we've raised over $110,000 for Direct Relief, Feeding America, and the CDC. And we're still moving, still raising money every day. And it's, like, it's been an amazing experience working with all these people. That's amazing. You guys need some branding. You need a $3 bill and just have a, a digital $3 bill that you send to people and then give them that recognition for donating like and a yeah. little yeah, digital slip. Awesome. Well, easy, easy to design, pop it out real quick. Um, and have you guys done any charitable things at school, at your schools together or separately? Yeah, so we actually have in high school. So we're freshmen in college, like we said, but in high school, we were both the co-presidents of a club called Jared's Box. And basically, um, Jared's Box packaged toys for kids with cancer at different local hospitals, uh, specifically Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So that was kind of like our first step into the philanthropic world. <laughs> but so we kind of like, since then, we've really enjoyed it, and that's kind of what initially made us want to keep doing it. So that was kind of the main thing. But definitely a lot of little, like, lemonade stands and things like that in the past. Yeah, you guys are philanthropists, definitely. Um, <laughs> one more time, let everybody know where they can donate to your Venmo, because I don't see it pinned up there. If we can get someone to put it up there, I can pin it. Oh, uh, Jackie didn't pin it. Yeah, I didn't uh, see that. Yeah, I read it a while back. But, yeah, um... So you, you never know how this works. Know how to pin. I don't know how to pin I it. Can do it. <laughs> I can pin it if you guys post. If you guys post a comment, I'll pin it. Okay, so you can Venmo three dollars to our Venmo at three DC, which is spelled out T H R E D C, or the GoFundMe link in the bio of our Instagram page. And yeah, so we know that Venmo is very accessible to college students. I just wrote it. And so all we right. started off by just reaching out to all of our friends from college, from home, and. They spread it to their friends by tagging the, by tagging them, and in the first 24 hours, we raised over nine thousand dollars through three dollar donations and reached all different parts of the East Coast and the, all other parts of America. I think the last really important thing to note is that part of the three dollar challenge is also posting an Instagram story. So we basically have like three steps to the three dollar challenge. The first one is to actually donate the three dollars via Venmo or the GoFundMe, and then we've asked. Um, the supporters to post an Instagram story of really anything they can't wait to get back to after quarantine, um, such as like a picture with your friends, your family, a place, um, and then also nominate at least three more people to do the same. So that's kind of really what got the trend going is like, keep when people kept seeing these pictures over and over again, especially in our community. Oh, that's awesome. And have you guys always gotten along so well? Yeah, uh, we, we, have yeah. Our, we have our moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so your normal, your normal brother and sister. That's awesome. My niece and nephew are twins, so uh, oh, really? yeah, it's enjoyable. Any last pieces pieces of advice uh, for everyone? Um, I think that one thing that we have our goal was to prove that a little bit of good from a lot of people can make a huge difference, and it. I think our challenge goes to show that it's true. That just a three dollar donation and passing the word along to all of your friends really can do more than you think it maybe can. And, you know, we've raised over $110,000 with our partners to go towards COVID-19 relief. And we've made a much bigger difference than we really thought that two ordinary kids from college could do. And yeah, I, I'm really just like glad that we were able to show that. Absolutely. Well, just remember everything grows exponentially. So that $100,000 soon becomes a million, becomes 10 million. You guys will be back on here 10 years from now with a billion dollar charity that's changing <laughs> millions of lives. Mark my words, just be consistent and persistent in what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, on thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry about the school mix up. I love Syracuse and the U. So <laughs> no problem. Okay, no worries. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Come back on anytime and report back in. How are things going? Okay. Thanks so much for the support. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you guys. You. Take Have care. Have a good night and day. You too. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. They're so inspirational. Um, yeah. So make sure you check out the $3 challenge. I think they should give everybody $3 bills and, uh, and then pass those $3 bills with the link. More people should be donating $3. People waste that on a cup of coffee uh, or a pair of socks. If they're smart, a pair of socks. Uh, anyway, let's take a couple questions. It is Saturday. I won't keep everyone, uh, but really appreciate 
everybody in the house. Go to three dollar challenge. Let's see here. What job would you recommend someone who wants to make a lot of money? Depending on how much money you have, right? So, uh, you know, if you have a lot of money, um, I would suggest in investing in something that has been oversold. If you have no money, then I would get into a grit industry. Uh, you know, there's some really good uh, financial advisory, insurance sales, just the relationship building businesses that exponentially grow. Uh, some MLMs uh, like Elevate is one of my favorites. WFG, uh, there's some really great places uh, where people uh, can make a lot of money if they have the enjoyment of the consistent, persistent pursuit of their potential. Uh, I, if you're gonna invest money, I would seek uh, an expert, someone 30, 40 years in the space uh, that can tell you specifically uh, if something's oversold. Um, there will be a lot of things oversold here in the next 24 months. And if you have a little bit of money to invest, go ahead and buy it. And make sure you asked about timing and risk tolerance. Timing and risk tolerance. No matter what you do with your money, always get the anticipated timing and risk tolerance. Anybody out there have a quick question before I leave? Want to jump on for a few? I want to shout out to Jake there with the thumbs up, Jake Fleshner. If you could post the $3 challenge Venmo link, that would be good. I don't know why the kids, it didn't come up, but if you could post it here, uh, that would be um, awesome. Don't worry about the number of people that are watching live. It uh, will be recorded and posted and get my full following behind it. It's just Saturday afternoon, and uh, this is when I was available. I'm hoping that there's very few people on here because that means people are out there having fun and doing whatever uh, they should be doing. Uh, so please, please don't worry. I wanted to make sure that I got the $3 challenge out there. It's very important to me to help our relief fund and especially young Filipinos. Um, those philanthropeneurs are especially kind and dear to my heart. Uh, you can see why. They're extraordinary. And I like the young Jakey Bakey that's there. Jake Fleshner, high five to you. Sasha, good to see you as well. Uh, anybody have a question before I go? Anybody want to go live with me? This is your last chance. I know there's not a lot out there. Joe, good to see you. You have an awesome day as well. At the $3 challenge, I'm going to post it right here. Thank you so much. We'll pin that. And let's get to a couple questions. What advice would you give someone who wants to make? I did that already. So uh, let's see if there's one more in there. <laughs> not sure what that means, but I'm going to post it up there. <laughs> ah, there we go. That even the website even better. Let's post that there. Uh, don't forget. Um, did you read my question? Oh, gosh, I don't see it there, Danica Patrick fan. Let's see what question you have. It said what job? What advice would you give someone who wants to make a lot of money? What would you recommend to make a lot of money? FB. I don't see your question. Post it up there, Danica, or just type it in here. Alcohol damages brain cells. Did you read my question? I did not. Everyone support Three Dollar Challenge. They're on a great mission. Yes, thank you. Anyway, let's see if anyone, like I said, wants to go live, um, or if anybody, uh, anybody at all, has a question. Let me know. If not, we're going to go ahead and support the Three Dollar Challenge. I want everyone to leave here, and anyone watching recorded this for the day, go to www.threedollarchallenge.org. Let's support those college kids who are raising money. For relief, everybody has $3. Oh, we got one quick question before I got to go. All righty. Uh, I want to thank you for all you do. Great comments. I appreciate that. Love a good... Uh... There we go. Last question. How can we have more peace? My main mission in life to have more peace is to create a collective consciousness of happiness. If we all live with gratitude, forgiveness, accountability and inspiration. If we try to empower others to empower others by searching and looking for their superpowers and focusing on that, not creating an exponentially growing hate or resistance or separation or voids and, and obstacles, but simply focus in on the good and let's all help each other uh, utilize the techniques that I teach and be grateful for what we have, be forgiving for the mistakes that we've made and that others have made be accountable. Ask yourself, what did I do to attract this in my life? And what am I supposed to learn from it? Realize that pain is just an indicator that you have a lesson to learn. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional. 
and also financial pain. It's just an indicator that you have something to learn. Uh, so get excited about learning that. Uh, and uh, we'll all be much better off. Uh, how to stop thinking about PST. Uh, stop thinking about a cancel clear connect is the best way. Let me see. Someone wants to go live real quick. Getting a little bit of momentum here as people come on. Um, I'll get one dude here. Quick question, Richard. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Mac Daddy. Always in the house. Thank you, Jakey Bakey. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good. How you been? I've been great. I've been great. You got a quick question for me on a Saturday? Yeah. So, um, how's the? Uh, I guess the. Uh, yeah. I, I think. Uh, how's the uh, fitness? tech stuff coming along these days any big opportunities in today's time yeah there's always some great opportunities with fitness and tech you know i'm doing a few things uh with it in the neuroscience side of things but also just the kenzai challenge uh kenzai has just a great app that's utilized for what i like about it for life right they don't over overdo it oversell it um but as far as fitness goes obviously anything that has any type of remote access and inspiration to that in technique following. So uh, there's a variety of things, but I've been working closely with the Kenzai people uh, with their system for life, you know, and they also, it's not just teaching what they do. It's the habit forming side of it. What I really like, you know, I'm a consistent, persistent performance of pursuit guy. And I love the mental side, the nutrition side uh, and not the overdoing it. I like something I can do every day for a minimum of an hour. Uh, but it. there's tons of stuff out there, tons of stuff. What are you working on? So we're a fitness uh, franchise. Uh, so think of like Uber for personal trainers, but now wrapped up in a franchise model. Um, and all we do is in-home personal training and even live video on, on demand, but now as a franchise. So we're teaching people how to start that business. That's all. What's the name of it? Uh, send me a trainer. Send me a trainer. That's awesome. So I, yeah, I very met good you idea. at Collision a while ago. I'm not sure if you remember, but I met you at Collision. In Canada? Um, in no, Canada. In, 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 it was in New Orleans. New, oh, the new, first one, New Orleans, before they moved to, to Canada. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, you look familiar. I apologize to meet so many people, but that's awesome. Now, where are you living now? Uh, I'm in Orlando. Oh, nice. Is everything going well there? Everything's going well. Everything's going well. And just really trying to really uh, focus on selling franchises and give people an opportunity to really own their own business in the local market that want to do in-home personal training. Or how, how much is a franchise? How much it's, is a franchise? You need about 50K um, and all in. And from that 50K, 35 is the franchise fee. And the other 15 is working capital that goes towards marketing for lead generation to get local clients in the local market. That's awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on and what a great idea. I'm sure it's taken off and anything I can do to be of service, let me know. Love to be a business advisor or coach you or whatever you need, okay? Absolutely, I'll reach out to you. Thanks for your time. You got it, my friend. Have a great weekend. All right, you too, buddy. All right, thank you. There's all kinds of great businesses starting out and once again, low dollars to start a franchise, get the help with a proven successful model. I appreciate everyone here. Don't forget the $3 challenge at www.3dollarchallenge.org. They're going to start giving $3 bills with Dave Meltzer's face on it. You watch. It'll be amazing. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock. I'm going to have a special guest on, by the way, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We're going to have the inventor of Pictionary, the game changer himself, Rob Angel, who wrote this book, Game Changer, which I just read. And it really talks about the enjoyment of the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential. Check it out. It's an extraordinary book. Uh, you'll love it. Jakey Bakey, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Check me out, Pacific Time. I will be jumping on with Rob Angel, the game changer. Everybody be kind to your future self and do good deeds. Remember, I do my trainings on Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and they're free every Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you.